On that VW Bus T2, we had some complaints about too much play in the steering system. Therefore, we have to change the bushings uh, for the swing lever shaft. To do a good and nice job, we create a tool for that. Here's the layout for all the tools needed to manufacture that tool. Uh, we have three different diameters in drill. We have the 30 millimeter steel rod the cutting tool, the parting tool, and the caliber, the measure once in a while. This is the machine, the lathe we need uh, to manufacture that piece. Everything needed is there, and even a uh, vertical mill. First, we're starting off with clamping the 30 millimeter rod. It's supposed to be nicely centered. All the tools uh, will be installed here, and the measurements set to zero to know where to start off from and how to reach the target size. As you can probably hear, this is some really bad quality steel here. We have to center it first, we have to smoothen it first, and that's uh, really important, that's crucial in order to start from the right basis. After having reached target sizes, I continue with some center drilling. 6mm for the first round, 10mm and finishing up with 12mm drill. Meanwhile, it's time to part off the sleeve. Unfortunately, I forgot to smoothen up the edges on that particular hole while the piece was clamped in the lathe. Therefore, I had to do this afterwards on the vertical mill. Not a big issue, but it would have been easier to do that right away on the lathe. So 
So this piece is more or less done. That's the first piece out of three. The threaded steel rod is going through it. We need that later to push out the bushings or press them back in. To make sure we know which one we have in our hands, we mark them uh, so they're just like slightly different. Um, I don't want to go measure it every, every time I need it. So a number tells me exactly this is that piece I need. Yeah, we start with the second piece out of three. It's basically the same procedure here, just slightly different measurements. Those pieces are all different in size, but you couldn't see by just looking at it. So here we go. From that perspective, you will be able to see that I do the feeding of the machine manually. Normally it's completely automatic, but uh, in this particular case I had an issue with the late and its gear, one of the gears, so I was unable to connect the automatic feed. It's a big advantage having automatic feed, it gives you much smoother surfaces, but for that short of a distance it really doesn't matter. Here we go, we're getting close to the finishing diameter. I'm measuring that with the caliper over and over to make sure we don't get undersized. That's really important at the end to stay patient. Uh, for the job, I increased the RPM and uh, lowered the uh, feed of the machine. This gives a beautiful, nice surface at the end. After having reached target sizes, I recheck with the bushing. If uh, that is satisfied, I continue with the drilling. Starting off with 6 mm, continue again with the 10, finishing up with 12 mm to match the threaded rod at the end. Here I changed the cutting tool for the parting tool. This we use to cut off the final piece from the remaining steel rod.
off the counter sinking, I smoothen out the edges. Thereafter, we mark it again with a dedicated number for better clarification. Last but not least, here comes the last piece for the tool. Same procedure, it's the biggest piece of the three, but the rest remains exactly the same. After preparing the three sleeves, we continue with the threaded steel rod. Here I cut off a piece of around 180 millimeters. Thereafter, we smoothen up the cut surface. 
and then the tool is literally done and ready for mission. Here you can see basically the setup to press the bushings in. If you want to change from top to bottom, you just turn it 180 degrees and that works perfectly fine. That is the sleeve that presses out the lower bushing. I use the socket where the bushing should end up in. Let's move over to the front axle of the VW Bus T2. Here we go, we're under the car. This is the front axle. And you see within the whole front axle, there is the bushing housing. There's a lower bushing and the top bushing. You can head out the top bushing without an issue. And then for the rest, basically I use that tool now to press the lower bushing out and afterwards pressing the top and the bottom bushing back in. Here I install the tool, starting first with the threaded rod going through the hole and then installing a lock nut up there to make sure that won't come loose while I tie the bottom. Afterwards I take that socket, the socket is centered within that ring included in the front axle. Afterwards there is a washer and a nut. With the ply I just had to hold the thread in the beginning a little bit to make sure it's not, not turning. The bushing should end up now in the socket. And surprise, surprise, that's what happened. So here's the bushing, a copper colored one. Afterwards, start cleaning the housing to make sure there's no dirt. After having prepared the housing for the new bushings, I set up the tool the way I can press in the top bushing first. This is uh, absolutely a simple task afterwards. There's no issue. It is perfectly aligned and goes in like butter. The other way around, bottom bushing, which is turned at the 180 degrees and do the same thing again. After all that, it's time to reassemble the steering system. All the pieces I built back in are new, starting off with the shaft, with a spring washer going through the housing, through the bushing. Of course, we also lubricate it with some grease. Thereafter comes the ceiling. That washer is coated one side with plastic facing up. This is all mentioned within the maintenance manual. Afterwards, we put over the cover. Then comes another ceiling and another washer.
reassembling the system is quite well explained in the maintenance manual. You see that on a nice picture. It is crucial to take the right torques for the, the bolts and the nuts and also to secure the bolt and the nuts with cutter pins or as you can see here with a piece of sheet metal that keeps the bolt always in place. We finally come to the end of that movie. From my side, the mission was successful. The steering is perfectly stiff again, there is no excessive play. And that was actually the task. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.